So, um, this one's about air in boilers. If ever you've had to drain the system out for anything, do a radiator, uh, even a bit of work on the central heating pipes, this can happen to you. You get air stuck in the boiler. It, you can hear what it sounds like because there's air stuck in this particular boiler now, at mine. Um, I've drained the system out to do a job on the central heating pump and now I've got air in the boiler. So what I want to do is I'm going to switch now to the boiler and I'm going to put it on in so you can have a listen uh, to how the thing sounds when you've got air in the boiler and you'll see the boiler will just lock out, it will not fire because there's air stuck in there. So I'm going to show you that now. Here's our boiler. I've turned it on now. Can you hear the air stuck in there? And that is why this boiler is locked out. I'll try firing up again. And it's locked out again. So that means this boiler is full of air. I'm going to show you now how to get it out. Well here's a setup in my cupboard. As you can see there's a central heating pump from our boiler and because I've renewed the pump I'm pretty certain the air is stuck in there along this line here. Um, it's risen up and it's probably stuck up into this loop here. Now how I get my air out is I fit the valve here I'm going to stick a hose pipe on there, open that up and let it run for about a minute. Leave the tank, all the water on, don't turn anything off, and it will drag the air that's stuck in that line there out of the system and clear the boiler. Just to clarify things, I've stuck a drain off on here for you. This is what they look like. All right, this is this is a typical drain off, so I'll put one on just for ease of clarity for you. All right, just put your hose on, run it outside. Okay, run that right out. Make sure your controls are all switched off on the programmer so there's nothing running, but don't turn any water off at all. Okay, then get your spanner for the drain cock. Okay, and stick it on and undo the valve. Mine's a little bit awkward in here, but uh, we can do it. And uh, we'll, we'll undo that. It's only because the camera's a bit in the way. Once it starts to come loose, you better do it with your fingers. And she's running now. See the water dripping down there now. She's running. There's the air being drawn out. Okay, so we'll shut her off. There's a little bit more there, let that go. See, it's all gone. Hear it? I think that'll be enough. We'll give that a try now. And that should do it. And that's what you do is keep repeating the process until it's all out. If you find that actually doesn't do it, then maybe you've got air somewhere else, in which case um, it's a different kind of job altogether. You may find you do have to put air vents and stuff in on pipes. But that generally um, does the job for you. I've got a drawing here of the most typical type of systems. And obviously this is mainly all you with F and E system tanks, you know, with a cylinder and everything. Uh, and this is a typical setup now. So if you like to look at the drawing, you'll see here I've drawn a boiler and a hot water cylinder and the F and E tank in the loft. And say you've worked on a radiator, it could be one downstairs, usually it is, or upstairs, but you've had a opportunity to drain the system out. Well obviously sometimes you get this air stuck on the top of the boiler. So it's got to get out, there's air stuck jammed here somewhere, like in that boiler there. So it's fairly simple, most boilers um, you will find a drain valve somewhere close to the boiler. Even if it's hung on the wall you may find there's a, a drain off very close to the boiler. Leave all your water on, don't turn anything off, just attach a hose on there and run it outside for about a minute. Leave the tank so it's filling it in and it will draw that air out and away and get rid of the airlock in the boiler for you. And that is a generally the simplest way of doing it. I mean, sometimes you can have air cocks and stuff all over the place, um, but they still don't clear air that's stuck in a boiler. So that is my recommended method. Hose pipe on the drain valve. Don't turn the water off, let it run, let the tank fill while it's running. Only for about a minute, maybe even 30 seconds, you should hear that air go out and down the hose pipe and away, and then everything will be back 
as you should be. So that's just a very quick little video from me that I was asked about. Well, you know where to go for everything new. Derrick and 33, that's mine and Jan's brand. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.